Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Friday, the 29th of October, 2021. It's our Worship on Wonders Night. I'd like to encourage you to be part of it today in the name of Jesus. We're looking at the topic, walking in glory through the Spirit. The Bible says, If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the Spirit and the glory of the Lord rested upon you on their part, speak on their part you speak at evil but on your part you speak the glory of God first Peter chapter 4 verse 14 thought for the day the engagement of the Spirit of God equals the explosion of the glory of God from our anchor scripture today it has been established that the Spirit of God is the Spirit of glory this means where the Spirit of God is, anywhere it is found, the glory of God can also be found. In other words, the climate of the Spirit of God is also the climate of the glory of God. The move of the Spirit of God is also the move of the glory of God. So the Spirit of God is the Spirit of glory. The scriptures also make it clear that transformation from one level of glory to another happens by the agency of the Spirit of God. That is to say, the Spirit of God facilitates transformation from one level of glory to another level of glory. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. Now, if the Spirit of God is the Spirit of glory and transformation from one level of glory to the other takes place or happens by the agency of the Spirit of God, then the engagement of the Spirit of God equals the explosion of the glory of God. Do you understand that equation? When we engage, when we engage with the Spirit of God adequately, we must explode, explode in the glory of God. If the Spirit of God is visible or sufficient in our lives, then we can explode in the glory. Men of the Spirit are men of the glory. Women of the Spirit are women of the glory. People who know how to walk in the Spirit and move in the Spirit of God also know how to explode in the glory of God. So remember this, that the engagement of the Spirit of God equals the explosion of the glory of God. I'm excited because you're about to shift realms in the glory in Jesus' name. What's our assignment? Number one, make up your mind to walk in the Spirit always so that you can experience the glory of God. And number two, resist the temptation to walk in the flesh. Praise God. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I ask that you... Um, set my soul on fire, set my spirit on fire. I receive the manifestation of the urgency of the Spirit of God today in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. By way of reflection, God's servant says that Smith Wigglesworth once said, it is a luxury to pray in the Holy Ghost. I'm sure part of that luxury is the privilege of swimming in the glory. So I congratulate you as you shift into this realm. And prophetically, I declare today that the hand of God be made manifest as you proceed in the overflow of the Spirit. You proceed into the explosion of glory in this season in Jesus' name. I'd like to pray for you today. You want to be born again. You want to start off your relationship with God by being born again today. Pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. And I want to wish you a happy birthday. A birthday full of the glory of God, full of the help of God, full of the grace of God. Hallelujah. Happy birthday. As your days, so shall your strength be in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Peace.